managing the financial side of Munis, whether to pay an invoice or to cut a purchase order or to frantically search for that last little bit of budget authority that you need to balance the year in June, the most important segment you need to know is org. In the chart of accounts, orgs are the fundamental unit. They're the quarks, the gluons of Munis. Everything is built from them. Programs made of orgs. Departments, orgs. Funds, I think you get it. And let's think about the implications of that for a second. So in the prior video, we discussed that the budget office uses the program segment as their means for developing and managing our annual budget. So where do orgs fit into that? Well, each program is made up of at least one org, and they could be made up of more. A program could have two, three, four, and similarly, a department must have at least one org and at least one program. At the fund level is where we enter the special relativity realm of Munis, where the majority of funds work the way you might anticipate. They're made up of departments and programs and orgs, but not all do. Some are weird. But if you're just working in the general fund, you're good. It's a straightforward fund. And as we mentioned in the video on segments, an org is an eight-digit segment that contains intelligence. And because we've been so finance department centric in this series, let's use a different org from another department as our example this time. Okay, nope, that's still finance. Let's try again. Okay, that's a different fund at least, but that is still the finance department. Oh, come on, that's the exact org we're trying to not use. Okay, great, a TESS org, fantastic. So, at any rate, here's an example of an org. Using the intelligence baked into this segment, let's see what we can learn about it. So the first two digits are the fund, in this case, fund 11, which is the general fund. The second two digits are department, which in this case is 41, which is TESS. And finally, the last four digits are a running count of all of the orgs that were in that fund when accounting created the org. So in this case, TESS's street maintenance org was the 316th org that we created in the general fund. This running count acts as a uniquifier, providing a means for us to quickly ensure that no two orgs will have the same number. And for those of you thinking ahead, yes, this means that we have a limitation on the number of orgs that we can place in a given fund. And given that we're four years into Munis, and the general fund has about 2,700 orgs right now, and we add about 50 orgs to that fund a year, let's see, carry the two, Yes, we will enter into a Y2K style data construction nightmare that will destroy all of our computers in about 150 years. So look out for that, city fiscal staff of the year 2167. So org is the key segment you will need to know to actually do anything in Munis. Like we've mentioned before, it's the fundamental unit. Whether your question is related to budget authority or actual revenue or the fate of some invoice, you're going to need to know what org you're looking for. And we'll get into this in greater detail in our Munis 101 video on searching. By now, we've gone through funds, programs, and now orgs, and maybe you're asking yourself, I thought this was a financial system. Financial means money. I know that from commercials. Where is the money? Well, take heart, my impatient friend. Money is up next. Objects. We'll see you in the next video.